everyone, it's Samantha from You See I Can Hear Now. Today I'm going to give you six tips to help you communicate effectively while wearing masks. So tip number one is to get my attention before speaking. A lot of times people are so focused on what they're currently doing that they are not paying attention to what was said. So if you just call my name, my attention will alert to you and then you can go ahead and say what you need to say. Tip number two is to use a transcription app, which I've given a couple of examples such as Transcribe Live and AVA, A-V-A. Um, those ones will help you, they're not perfect, but they help you get an idea of what's being said so you can fill in the gaps. Um, it also does drain your battery quite a bit, so just make sure your phone or your tablet, whatever you're using, has a full charge on it. I do really like using it, but again, it's not perfect, but it's very nice to have. Tip number three, turn your noise program on. A lot of times audiologists will give patients a noise specific program. Hearing aids nowadays are mostly automatic, so any environment you go into, they automatically adjust to that environment. But you can have it be more of a fixed directional microphone capability. So you just go into the next program or whatever program yours is, and it should change the microphones to be facing forward only so that any background noise, you, sh you still hear it, but you should hear it less so that you can hear the person talking over that noise. Tip number four is in a group setting or for the Zoom meetings, Go ahead and have the people at least like raise their hand or their finger just to let you know who is talking. A lot of times in personal experience, there are multiple people talking and the green border that shows you who is talking lags a lot. So if anyone or everyone in the group can just, I have something to say or just when they're talking, just kind of do something to indicate that they are the one talking so that you can look through and say, oh, it's this person over here. And then you know, okay, it's also this person that's trying to say something too. So it's less confusing instead of you trying to figure out whose mouths are moving and what's going on because there's so many little squares you're looking for. Um, tip number five is to look away. Look away, what do you mean? Well, you know when you're driving and you have your music blasting and it's somewhere new you're driving to, so you're getting closer to your destination and you turn the radio down so you can focus on where you're going. Same thing with hearing. So if you can just get rid of the vision and just kind of look away and mainly rely on your hearing instead of looking at their face while they're wearing the mask, then you're kind of struggling to look for their lips. Whereas if you just kind of look away or close your eyes, maybe you'll hear a little better. Tip number six is a last resort tip, but if you can be more than six feet away or if there's a glass barrier, see if the person will just take their mask down for a second and just say what they need to say so that you can read their lips but it's not entirely recommended. But again, if you are more than six feet away, that's what the rules say that it's okay. So it should be fine. And then as a bonus tip, use your FM system or your hearing assistive technology device, the hat system. Um, so a lot of people have a remote microphone that their main person can wear. It is kind of limited in who wears it, but you could also have it on the table and then everyone in the group will be talking and then you can kind of hear a little bit better. Um, or you can just hold on to it and then whoever you're going to talk to, you can kind of point it at them and indicate that they speak into it. Same thing with the transcribe app. You do have to point your phone towards them if you want it to work effectively. If you're sitting, you know, three feet away from someone and you've got your phone here, well, it's going to pick up your voice a lot more clearer than someone that's sitting way over there. So move your phone closer to them as well. And of course, above all of this, I think the biggest tip and help would be to get a mask that has a clear shield on it. I know they do fog up, but anything helps these days. So 
stay safe guys and i hope that was really helpful if you have any other tips please let me know and share it with everyone else all right guys bye